peace from the main event hip hop analyst just talking shit best podcast for hip hop knowledge now I recently did this same podcast about I did it in May what if the biggest what if is hip hop so I'm gonna revamp it I did it with my cousin Alvin Boys you can still go check that episode out it's on the link but I'm gonna do another one I'm gonna revamp it so what are the biggest what ifs in hip hop history so I have to start off with DOC. So this man didn't get to a car accident. Mess up his voice. Oh man, DOC. Very, very little clue. I don't know how the game would have been if he gets in a car accident. Now, Big L. Rest in peace. Once again, Big L. Rest in peace. Put them L's up. Now, Big L, Miracle Monster, Punchlines, Before His Time, Speed Rap, Stories. He had everything. Digging is a great point. Everything. I'm still stuck right now. Ebonics. Say no more. If you're young, go look up Ebonics. Big L was that dude, Harlem Morgan. Now, Slick Rick, the ruler. MC Ricky D. Where the rest is a Slick Rick. 1988. Slick Rick. Or what if two times? What if he didn't go to jail? The time he went to jail, that was his time. Them five years. The game would be a little different. With Rock Cam, Kane, Kooji Rap. You had the end of the grades and all that. But in five years, Slick Rick was locked up. Game, game would be different. Now, also Slick Rick, just imagine if him and Dougie Fresh didn't break up. Just imagine they didn't break up. They did two songs, classics. The ill part is one song, Dougie Fresh not even running. He's doing a beatbox. So with that, come on, man. Hip Hop Bales, main event, just talking shit. So I got a couple more in the notes. I have, uh, what if happened if Scott Rock didn't pass away? I'll book me down. Dutch's beats would have been more crazy and more on point. Without Productions would have been whoo, Scholar Rock and Kara Swan would have probably been DJ Pimid before Guru and DJ Pimid. Old Dirty Bastard now passing, passing away. Come on, man. That, that right there. Big, big part of Wu Tang right there. The Vibe Magazine. What if they didn't post that bullshit up? East vs. West, the Vibe magazine with Biggie and Puffy on it. What they didn't do that? Just a widow. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just a widow. Hip hop. Just, just a widow. We have more though. What if DMX, Jay Z, and John Rubin squashed their beef for Murder Inc. when it first, first came out? That song, they're supposed to be a group together. It didn't pan out. What if Rock Him and Dre would have squashed their beef? And they were doing that album, Oh My God. Oh my God, that would be crazy. Dream Rock him, but it didn't work out. Musical cool differences. That's another big what if. Rest of Soul, Stack Bundles, what if he ain't passed away? Chinks, if he ain't passed away? Freaky Tide, Rest of Soul, Lost Boys, that's another what if. What if Max B didn't go to jail? What if the game and 50 would have squashed they beat? What if 50 was a big bully smacking him right up in New York from JD Kids to Fat Joe and others because he messed up New York rap? Just small what ifs. And of course, the biggest what if, well, besides these three, Biggie, if he didn't pass away, of course we all know, we don't know how that shit would have went. If Pac didn't pass away, Pac and Biggie to me would have squashed their beef and Pac did a collab with Excuse me, collab with him. Never happened, we never happen, we'll never know. And what if. Easy didn't pass away because they want to squash all that beef and get back and WA. That's another big what if. That's a small what ifs. Please leave your comments. Drop your comments. Some more what ifs. I might do a part two. So drop your comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the best podcast for hip hop knowledge. Just talking shit. Oh, what if, what if, what if, what if. And real quick, what if I didn't move back with my family? This podcast wouldn't exist. Just a little, just a little food of thought. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the support. 
Thank you once again. It's the best podcast for hip hop knowledge. Thank you. And real quick, once again, big up to Black Culture Radio and man JJ History Hip Hop. Peace out.